This is not just a breaking news, but the breaking dawn of India's global influence. From policy reforms to infrastructural advancements, the nation under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi is definitely on the move. A rising powerhouse, a new reality the world just cannot ignore. Namaste to all. Welcome back to yet another exciting episode of Fridays at MyGov. This is a white paper on the Indian economy and its impact on the lives of the people of India. The Modi government released the white paper on Indian economy yesterday. This document is not just a report, it's a testament to India's remarkable turnaround from fragile 5 to the world's fifth largest economy. So get ready to be enlightened as we uncover the secrets behind India's remarkable transformation in this video. Let's begin with the macroeconomics, the backbone of any thriving nation. With a strong, stable government and positive macroeconomic indicators like the record-breaking GST collections, a strong bank credit growth, massive capex on infrastructure, a surge in FDI, the highest ever capital outlay to railways, India not only remains resilient but thrives, achieving a consistent annual growth rate of 7% amidst the global uncertainties. From a reduction in corporate tax rates to the introduction of Jam Trinity, India's financial inclusion strategies have not just broken records, but set new standards for efficiency. Corporate taxes have been reduced from 30% to 25% for mid-sized companies. Now domestic companies can opt for concessional tax regime at 22%. And the tax rate for new domestic manufacturing companies is now 15%. Not only this, the GST collections have touched a whopping 1.66 lakh crore in December 2023. The Insolvency Bankruptcy Code played a key role in resolving stressed assets and improved the credit culture in India. Make in India has transformed the nation into global manufacturing and investment destination. The Modi government has also liberalized FDI norms and reduced 40,000 compliances, attracting $85 billion in 2021-22 as the highest ever FDI inflows. Income tax collections doubled, surging from Rs 7,41,000 crore to 16,61,000 crore in 2022-23. The Jam Trinity enhanced financial inclusion by reducing system leakages and increasing the quantity of direct benefit transfers to beneficiary bank accounts, reaching an impressive Rs 34,6,000 crore as on January 31, 2024. From a modest ranking of 142 in 2014 to an impressive 63 in 2019, India's ease of doing business ranking has witnessed a remarkable leap. This index covering aspects like starting a business, construction permits, trading across borders and credit has redefined the business landscape. Starting a business has become more straightforward with Pan, Tan and Din merging seamlessly into the unified SPICE form for company registration. The icing on the cake is that there is zero incorporation fees for companies with an authorized capital of Rs 15 lakhs. Not to forget the Shram Suvitha portal, an online hub for fast track approval for building permits, forms, digital signatures have made things more modern and efficient. Similarly, eSanchit facilitates electronic document filing for exporters and importers, resulting in reduced customs paperwork. These initiatives signify India's determination to create a business-friendly environment. Hey! 
the Modi government is investing a whopping rupees 11 lakh crore in infrastructure for 2024-25. From expressways to Vande Bharat trains, metros and airports, India is undergoing an incredible transformation like never before. We have added 74 airports, doubling the count to 148 in 2023. The ambitious plan is to exceed 200 in the next four years. The Udan scheme, launched in 2016, has enhanced regional connectivity, mainstreaming the Northeast India for the first time. The government has built seven airports in the region since 2014, surpassing the nine airports built between 1947 to 2014. The aircraft movement has surged by 113% since 2014 and the impact on tourism has been unbelievable. The Northeast India has welcomed 118 lakh tourists till now. Notably, 1 lakh foreign tourists visited in 2022, a testament to improved connectivity. Manipur achieved freight connectivity for the first time in 75 years, marking a historic milestone. Between 2014 and 2022, 1,350 infrastructure projects worth Rs 15,000 crore were approved. Not only this, the Modi government took a crucial initiative for asset monetization of infrastructure assets through the National Monetization Pipeline. Transactions with an aggregate monetization value of 97,000 crore and 1.3 lakh crore were completed in 2022 and 2023 respectively. And monetization of assets happened through a structured public-private partnership framework. The PM Gati Shakti has fastened the tracking progress and obtaining approvals seamlessly on a single user-friendly interface across 16 ministries. As we bid farewell to PM Modi 2.0, we stand on the threshold of a new India, poised for even greater height. India has had an incredible journey from fragility to stability to strength. Looking at the remarkable milestones, the picture becomes more clearer. Did you know that India created a world record for most bank accounts opened in a week? Tax filings increased from 4.6 crore to 6.98 crore in 2022. The check transaction declined from 46% to 12.7% due to online payments. Did you know that UPI transactions increased 785% in 3 years? Did you know that more than 9,900 fintech startups are in India? The fintech adoption rate in India is 87%, highest in the world. Well, this is just the beginning. Well, this is just the beginning. The Indian dream is not just about trillion dollar economy, but the last mile delivery and financially empowering the until there. So this is it for this week's Fridays at MyGov. See you again for yet another insightful journey into India's growth story. Till then, take care. Jai Hind.